platypus, a small egg-laying mammal that attempts to mate frequently but spends most of its time alone. Man, an adult male human. Platypus man, an adult male human that attempts to mate frequently but spends most of its time alone. Platypus Man, brought to you by Burger King, where you can get your burger's worth. And by Saturn, a different kind of company, a different kind of car. From New York, it's time for Cooking with the Platypus Man. And now, here he is, the Platypus Man himself, Richard Jenny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. We are coming to you from New York City, where our motto is, show me a guy with one foot, and I'll show you a guy who tried to hide his money in his shoe. <laughs> Folks, say hello to him. There he is, the man who comes to your town and helps your party down, our musical director, Mr. Vern Tuttle. Hello, master of the microwave, commandant of the Cuisinart, lord of the fries. <laughs> Worked on that all weekend. <laughs> Hope you didn't miss one of your Star Trek conventions. <laughs> okay, folks, you picked a great night to tune in because tonight on our show, I would like to make a nice duck a l'orange stuffed with truffles. And I'd like to be in a hot tub naked with Cindy Crawford, but hey, let's be freaking realistic. Way too complicated. <laughs> this is a cooking show for any moron who ever tried to make tuna fish on toast and wound up in the burn unit with mayonnaise in his hair. <laughs> and that's why tonight we're making a simple dish, pasta primavera, also known as spaghetti with some vegetables in it. <laughs> All you need is some fresh vegetables, some pasta, and a jar of Cool Hand Luke's tomato sauce. <laughs> simple, uncomplicated. The same could be said about a relationship, eh? Keep it simple. A lot of guys complicate their relationships with things like jealousy. Vern, you ever had a problem with jealousy in a relationship? Yes, I've had my share of restraining orders. <laughs> well, there you go. See, the thing is, I was recently involved with a great woman myself. It all started at my health club. I didn't meet her there. I'm not the type of guy that goes to the health club to meet women. When I go, I am focused on one thing. No problem. <laughs> oh, oh, this feels incredible. When I think of all the years I wasted having sex. <laughs> Boy, you really were out of alignment. How'd you hurt yourself? I was... Kind of stupid, you'd probably laugh. Oh, please, in my business, you hear them all. For instance, yesterday I heard some guy at the gym went flying backwards off of a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> what a moron. Yeah. Now, your muscles will heal faster if I put a little bit of this warm almond oil on your neck. I heat it by rubbing it in the palms of my hands. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God, it's Christmas morning. <laughs> I'm Frank Sinatra. <laughs> There you go. All done. Yes, I am. Oh, that special almond oil is really something. Whew. I'll get your check. This is a fabulous kitchen. Do you cook? Do I cook? Does Schindler have a list? Yeah. <laughs> I cook. In fact, I, uh, I have my own cooking show. You might have seen it. It's called Cooking with the Platypus Man. Oh, what channel's it on? It's on 72. Except sometimes when it's raining, then it's on 71. <laughs> Anyway, thanks. Really. Thank you. Sure. So, do you know any good coffee places in this neighborhood? I just moved here from Seattle, and we are pretty serious about our coffee. As a matter of fact, I am a bona fide coffee fanatic. There's a good place right around here. It's called Latte Latte. But if you have the time, if you want to go downtown, there's an even better place called Latte Latte Latte. Oh. <laughs> I'm free the rest of the day. Me too. You know, uh, I wouldn't mind having a latte down there at Latte Latte Latte. <laughs> Sounds great. 
Okay. You know, uh, if you have the time, I can even show you around the city a little. Even better. Oh, what are we waiting for, huh? Let's get going. You're not dressed. You're so conventional. <laughs> Do you mind if I keep my table here? Yeah, sure, go ahead. What's this? Oh, that's a camera in the shape of a football. It's my uh, free gift for renewing the Sports Digest. Oh, so take a decent picture? I don't know. Every night I hope and pray A dream lover will come my way A girl to hold in my arms I know the magic of her charms Cause I want We just hit it off right away. You know what I mean? Like that. Wendy is unbelievable. I mean, look at her. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. She gets every single joke. This may be the one, Lou. These are beautiful photographs. So clear. <laughs> Football camera. My free gift for renewing the uh, Sports Digest. Boy, I could just kick myself. I was this close to picking the football camera when I renewed mine. Instead, I got the golf shoe telephone. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it, it, it leaves spike marks on your face. I never make the right choices in life. Never. Yo, Lou, your wife's on the phone. It's a perfect example. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry. He said he's not here. <laughs> I think she bought it. So, tell me the details about this girl. Hey, whoa, 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 the details of my personal life are exactly that. Personal. Since when? Since now. Come here, Rich. Huh? Joanne, this is the guy I was telling you about, my older brother Richard. Joanne cleans my teeth. Hi, hi. I have always admired your work. Oh. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me he was funny. You just said he was short. <laughs> Medium built. Oh, no, look at him. He's definitely short. What does it matter? Are you making me a suit? <laughs> oh, I like him. He's funny. He'll do. Check you later. Don't ask any questions, man. <laughs> Just say thank you. She has an identical twin. Ooh. Me, you, and twin dental hygienist. <laughs> How does that sound, Rich? <laughs> Thanks, Tommy, but I can't go. Quit being so selfish. Go for me. And bring the football. Shut up. Shut up? What am I, Shemp? Tommy, I can't go. I'm seeing somebody very special. Here, come here. Look. Take a look at that. Whoa, man. I never seen pictures so clear. The pictures, you moron. The girl, that's Wendy. Oh. She's a masseuse. Check that. She's a magician. Brother, this may be the girl that I've been waiting for my whole life. I think that's great, Rich. You do? Yeah. I just wish I could find the right girl. I'm ready to settle down myself. I thought you were happy going out with a different girl every night. Happy? Erotic encounters with an endless parade of beautiful women, some of whom have graced the pages of high-class men's magazines. That's your definition of happiness? <laughs> that's Webster's definition of happiness. Richard, I was hoping that was you. I've got a date and I need your opinion. Sure. What do you think? Brutally honest. You look nice, Paige. Nice? A mini dress up to my book is in four inch throw me down on the ground pumps and all you can say is you look nice? <laughs> what about hot, sexy, dirty? <laughs> what are you making yourself so crazy about, Paige? Oh, a fellow sports writer at the paper set me up on a blind date. I hate blind dates. I hate dating, period. Not that I go out that often. Oh, come on. No, it's true. I mean, the only reason I keep buying condoms is so the old guy at the drugstore thinks I have a life. <laughs> if something doesn't happen soon, I'm going to have to learn how to make balloon animals to get some use out of them. Paige, you are one of the truly great women. Any guy would be lucky to have you. Are you telling me the truth? Yes, I'm telling the truth. I always tell the truth. 
Tell them I'm not home, whoever it is. Hello? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's not home, Wendy. Hey, oh, Wendy. Hey, give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Wendy. Yeah, I'd love to get together tonight. Great. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't a girl. That was my next door neighbor, Paige. <laughs> she thought I had a girl over the house. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> I can't wait to see you either. Hey, Rich. Hey, Sports Paige. <laughs> What's this thing doing closed? <laughs> Is there an orange roof on this place? This isn't a Howard Johnson's. <laughs> Hey, Paige, you want to go hit some balls at the batting cage later? I can't, Lou. I've got a date. A date? <laughs> really? <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Ever since I came down from the bell tower and cut off my hump, things have really picked up for me. You are Mr. Smooth. Hey, I didn't mean it the way it came out. We all hang out so much together, I think of her as one of the guys. And... There's that other thing. <laughs> what other thing? Oh, you know, she's a sports writer, ex-professional golfer. I saw her buy a K.D. Lang CD. Do I have to draw your picture? <laughs> Who put you in charge of the lesbian police, Detective Fatlock? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's that smell there? Old Spice. No. No, it's something else. Canoe. <laughs> You're wearing Old Spice and Canoe? I sweat a lot and like a nautical theme. Does it matter? <laughs> That's not Old <laughs> Almonds. Am I right? I smell almonds. Almonds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I strained my lower back bowling, so I got a massage from your friend Wendy. You were right. She is terrific. <laughs> Wendy? Yeah, last night. What time? Oh, I don't know, around six. <laughs> Wendy had her hands all over your hairy back and buttocks at six. <laughs> yeah. What's the difference? We went to the movies at seven. <laughs> oh, God, I'm gonna be nauseous. What are you getting so worked up about? You should have asked me about this. What ass? You were the one who said what a miracle worker she was. I was in pain. You know that pain I get that starts in my lower back and then just shoots down way... No! It's official! It's official! You have ruined popcorn forever for me, Lou. Rich, Wendy is a masseuse. If you're really serious about her, you're gonna have to get used to it. What other choice have you got? <laughs> Lou was right. That's why I decided that the best thing to do was to share my fears and concerns with the woman I loved in an open and honest fashion. Wendy, there's something that I have to talk to you about. Nope. <laughs> yes? Well, look. You being a masseuse is driving me crazy. I mean, the idea of your oily hands all over people's naked bodies, it's totally unacceptable. Now, either you stop now, or we're through. Now, if that's how you feel, darling, of course I'll quit. I love you, and that's all that matters. Of course, that's not what happened. All I could do is tell her I love her and leave it at that. Any man could see you have to accept what you can't change. Unfortunately, I'm not any man. I'm the platypus man. Vern, do you have any going to commercial music? I'm sorry, my organ's not working. <laughs> Too easy. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Coffee, Tommy. Hey, Paige. Hey, how you doing? How'd the big date go? 
Well, I finally got some use out of those condoms. All right, good for you. Yeah, my day turned out to be Mary. So I filled a couple of Trojans with water and dropped them on his head as he walked to his car. <laughs> I give up on men. I'm sorry, Paige. Hey, your luck will change, cutie. I hope so. The last time I had sex, members only jackets were still popular. <laughs> See ya. Hey, Paige. How you Stay doing? Fun. Hey. Thanks. See ya. Hey, what kind of coffee is this? It smells kind of funny. Why are you making a face? That's good coffee. That's the same coffee they serve at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> no, it's not, it smells weird, like one of those amaretto dessert coffees. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling you, I smell almonds. Like... <laughs> <laughs> On you. Oh, yeah, I got a massage from Wendy. <laughs> Wendy? Ooh. Ooh. I believe you're Richard's brother. You've got a much better uh, body. Yeah, you got the brains and I got the, well, you know what I've got? You had your hands all over it. Mm. What the hell business did you have getting a massage from Wendy? I pulled a shoulder muscle, which is kind of your fault, by the way. My fault? Yeah, you remember the twin hygienists? Yeah. Yeah? Ended up taking them both out since you wouldn't go. And things got a little out of hand. The night's kind of a blur, but I think I hurt my shoulder while they were trying to tie me to the bed with the unwaxed cinnamon dental floss. I'm mad. I'm also a little excited by that story, but mainly I'm mad. Mad about what? Wendy is my girlfriend, idiot. You know, I'm serious about her. I might marry this girl. So? So excuse me for saying this, but I'm a little uncomfortable with the idea of you getting a massage from her. I know what you're like. Well, excuse me for saying this, but jump up my ass. <laughs> I would never, ever try anything with a woman who liked you. Oh, really? Yeah? What about Karen Farbikoff, huh? See? You went out with her? You don't even know what you're talking about. She oh. asked me to go to the movies, and I said I couldn't because of you. Then she said, I don't like your brother. I think he's a creepy little weasel and a boring, loudmouth, know-it-all jerk. I'm glad I brought that up so we could straighten it up. Hey, guys, what's up? My brother is a total head case when it comes to women. He's all bent because I got a massage from Wendy. Oh, you too, huh? Oh, yeah. Wasn't she incredible? <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm out of here. Oh, come on, Rich. Shit, get over it. Get over it? I'm sorry if it bothers me a little bit that my best friend and my brother have spent more time naked with my girlfriend than I have. Hey, that's her job. Rubbing her soft hands all over strange bodies with oil. Almond oil. Yeah. Warm almond oil. So what if she got carried away and things got a little out of hand? You too, huh? <laughs> that's it. The hell with Booker. Oh, Rich, come on. You're being overly sensitive. I am here. not overly sensitive. I am never overly sensitive. Hi, Richard. And I'm not short. I am medium bill. <laughs> Paige? Yeah? Hey, do you have a spare kid? Jesus. <laughs> Actually, I do have a spare Jesus. My parents visited the Vatican twice this year. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Richard. I locked myself out. I was wondering if you're still there. Yeah, you're extra keys right. in my top yeah. desk drawer right there. Right, I'll get that. Oh, that's the spot. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Looks Ooh. like you found a G spot. you just turn over i'm gonna get another coffee okay yeah tell me lou would tell me how terrific wendy was so i figured i'd give her a shot oh yeah everyone likes a very butch much <laughs> new cd katie lang <laughs> richard what's wrong with you nothing nothing I'm totally comfortable with you massaging everybody I know. In fact, why don't you put on a snorkel and maybe massage my fish? <laughs> it's open. 
Um, Richard, I have to talk to you. Hey, hey, listen, I know what you're gonna say, and you know what? You're absolutely right. I was acting like a lunatic in there. You know why? You know why? I just got jealous, that's all. It was my problem. And uh, look, I'm over it now. I'm over it. Look, here's the problem. Here's me. See? <laughs> See? Over it. I hope I haven't come off sounding like a total nut. No, of course not. As a matter of fact, I think it's great you can be so, you know, open about your feelings like this. But there's another problem. What? Well, I came here to tell you that I'm leaving New York and I'm going back to Seattle. Why? Coffee. <laughs> Coffee? Well, it just doesn't taste the same here. I mean, I don't know if it's the water or the weather. You know, all kinds of things affect the oils in a coffee bean. I told you I was serious about coffee. I hope I haven't come off sound like a total nut. <laughs> of course you come off sound like a total nut. Richard. Come on, think about what you're saying. You're breaking up over a beverage? Well, anyone could make it sound silly. It is silly. It's wacko. God, I have everyday insecurities, but this, this is something written up in journals. I think I've heard nothing. Wait, wait, hey, come on, let's talk about it. I don't think so. Please. Nope. Wendy, I, I just bought a pound of fresh ground Kona. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Richard. Hey. And so, Wendy walked out of my life forever. And you know what? If I'd been a little more trusting, a little less jealous, it would have been a total waste of time. <laughs> we were different astrological signs, you know? I'm a Scorpio, she's a psycho. <laughs> but, you know, the way I was carrying on, it probably wouldn't have turned out right anyway. But, here's something that did turn out right. Feast your eyes, fellow platypus men, there it is, pasta primavera. Uh, Vern, would you like to try a taste of this? No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> vegetables give me gas. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. And so, folks, remember until next time that even though it's logical to be jealous, in true platypus fashion, logic doesn't always make sense. Because if we accept that God is love, and we know that love is blind, surprisingly enough, it follows Ray Charles is God. <laughs> Coming up next from the producers of Cheers. This is your new home. What do you think? A brand new comedy about five peers. It's uh, not really the way you described it to me on the phone. Just starting out in their careers. Mission accomplished, boys. I just torpedoed my co-worker. <laughs> they share more than just a few beers. You work out Iowa. Yeah, a little. How about a little more? So hey, why don't you drop on by for the premiere of Pigsty? It's all coming up next right here on UPN.